Hello fellow Sudokans, welcome to Zen and the Art of the Guardian Sudoku Puzzle. It's Tuesday the 9th of January 2024, and I hope you are keeping well and enjoying your life. Um, what, <laughs> when you turn on um, airplane mode on your iPhone, what happens? I think it stops calls from coming in, going out, and text messages and stuff like that, right? So, so some kind of low power mode. But if we are to believe a, a current news story that's going around, it might have a hidden function as well. One that means that it can survive a fall from an aeroplane. <laughs> Very unlikely. Um, I say this because uh, apparently, do you remember a few days ago there was a, a window blown out of an Alaska Airlines um, Boeing aircraft, which caused them to ground it. I did mention it on the channel. And... Um, Apparently, somebody found an, a working iPhone that had dropped from the airplane several thousand feet. I find this pretty unbelievable because it seems like the screen wasn't even cracked. And I've cracked screen telephones from dropping from, from a much uh, lower height than that. So I find that pretty unbelievable. Um, but anyway, that's the story that's going around. So there you are, airplane mode. Switch it on when you're flying, just in case the plane crashes and your phone survives. <laughs> Very unlikely. Um, so this is Tuesday, Guardian, medium level. I won't bother to explain the rules of Sudoku, although it's usually on a Tuesday we have a pretty easy game to play. Um, so I'll just jump in, shall I? Uh, we've got fives blocking across here like this, which will give us a five in that square there. I am sitting with the cat. Cat's being a bit jumpy at the moment, so I'm not sure if he's going to sit still. But anyway, we've got fives down there. That'll give me five there. We've got seven up here and seven across there. There's a seven. Two up here, two down there, there's two. And four down here, four in there. Four down here and here and across there means that's four. The last number to place here is a one. One down here and down here. And there's one, one across here, across there, and down there. Give me a one in that square. And one up here and one across there means this is one in one of those two squares. They're blocking up. We'll extend this to the top. One across here, one across there. And there's one. Uh, actually, there's five across here as well. I missed that one. Five down there. There's five. Eight blocking down here puts an eight into that square. Eight blocking up here and up here and across there means that's an eight we can place. One more number to go here. Um, what are you? Are you at, no six? And um, we also have six blocking this square, so that gives me a six here. And the missing digit to fit here is going to be a nine. Um, so missing digits up here are seven and nine, and these are. Three five, so we've got three blocking across there. There's the three, and that's our five. And so five across here, across here, and up there means we can finish digit five. Four across here and here gives us four in that square. One more digit to go here, which is nine, I think. Uh, 
8 down here and 8 across there puts an 8 into that square Let's uh, just go through the digits, see if we can spot any more easy numbers first. Usually there are plenty of them. So 4 blocking this square, this square, and this square, and 4 blocking this square, so there's a 4. Hmm, that's unusual. Normally there are a lot more easy game or easy digits to be had on a Tuesday. Are we actually gonna have to think today? That's quite unusual. Even the cat is acting weirdly. The cat can hear people arriving for work at the office opposite where I live. Ah. Hey, what are you doing, cat? Sit still. Don't hit the microphone. Okay, sit still. My cat is trying to shake his, but if you hear this kind of strange flapping sound, my cat is trying to shake the bandage off of his paw. He has a tight bandage on, he has a fungal infection on his paw, uh, which has lasted several weeks already, and it's uh, still not healed. It's still very bad, so he has to have a bandage on, and he wears like a soft collar thing. So he's in a bit of a state, the poor thing. Uh, okay, we've got one six seven nine missing from this column, this row here, rather. I think one six seven nine, yeah. And one seven nine attack this square, so that's going to be a six. So six is across here and here, and up there will give us six in that square. Am I missing something, or is this game actually much more difficult than it usually is on a Tuesday? Normally you can do it without any kind of um, real thinking. Maybe I'm just missing something obvious. That's usually the case. Okay, we've got fours across there. That's probably it. Maybe I'm just uh, not properly awake. 
what goes in here? We're looking for uh, three and something. So the three blocking down there, we'll put the three here. What is that something? Uh, the something is an eight. Okay. So eight's going up here. Eight's across there. There's the eight. Uh, three blocks down here that gives me a three in that square two in that square and two blocking like this so there's our two two up here up there across there means that's our two two this way that way and up there we'll put two into that square two down here means we can finish the twos we can also finish this column here with a seven and there's one number left to get here, which is a three. And this is nine, I think. Uh, this is a three up here. We haven't finished the threes. Why haven't we finished the threes? Because we've got one over here to get. Uh, what's left to be done? Let's see now. Ones. Yep, we got one up here, which puts the one into that square. One across there gives us one there. That's done. We still need a six somewhere. We need six blocking up there. That'll give us six in that square. Six across there puts six here. We still need sevens. What do we know? Seven blocks across there. That gives me seven there. Seven across there. There's our seven and seven across there means there's a seven and nine is the digit we need to finish the game apparently that's the only option left oh oh there's one over here thought for a second i've messed it up okay a bit of a jumpy game uh, a bit of not a very smooth game for me but for a tuesday it's normally much quicker than that but anyway never mind uh that's uh quick is not necessarily good when it comes to sudoku right you are trying to waste some time so I hope you waste some more time with me on another game somewhere. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.